Wow, the... Even though we're like really over level for these monsters, it's still guarded against uh, Mishera's attack. That's uh, pretty pretty tough. It's interesting. It's interesting how tough the armored enemies are. Oops. Oh no! Wait, Purge Wind. Okay, that's good. I thought I used her big move. <laughs> I used exactly the move I meant to use. It didn't do much, now did it? Okay. This, this is. I don't remember you here before, big guy. Just giant ankylosaurus. Ah. Oh, I forgot to equip the uh, Photon Shaker. Photon Blade. What? Let's, let's do this. That's Rising Slash. Sorry. This. Yeah. It's basically the Double O Gundams. No, not Double O. Sorry. Um, the, the Double O Quantas, like it's a humongous energy sword. Ow. I'm actually getting rocked by this thing. I'm not doing super good right now. The giant Ankylosaurus threw me off. Oh, also, by the way, um, I gave Adol that uh, thing which is like the Knight's Crest, which increases the EXP gained, and it's kind of showing. He's he's leveled up a little bit ahead of everyone else. I mean, the new guys, or the returning guest characters, were kind of... Um, Oh, that's right, we've got new moves! I forgot, we, like, powered those up, didn't we? Right! I forgot all about that. Interesting. In any case, yeah, um... They, they, they're a bit behind on levels anyway, our, uh... Our, uh, friends, uh, with the, um... Who the guest party members, but but even, like, uh, Dogi and Geis are, like, a... I think a couple of levels off. Yeah, from Adol, because that EXP item. So I'm thinking maybe I should almost switch to something else at some point, so Adol doesn't get too huge of a lead compared to anyone else. In fact, should I just do it now, maybe? I don't know. I don't like the idea of someone, like, outspeeding the others the more that I think about it. So I could give him... This was really good, the flash ring with the, with the stun. It was really good on Geis in the Ruins Island, so... We'll give that a go. Why is this screen shaking? Oh, no. Another one I use. Oh, it's not even weak to uh, Adol's weapon. It's just, like, impervious to attacks from... Uh, or is it? Oh, I don't think it's impervious. I think it just takes, takes attacks. Okay. If I saw that correctly, I think... I don't know. I thought it would be an armored enemy, but maybe it's not. Um, there's a huge side area over there. Okay, I'm not gonna fight the enemies. I'll just check real quickly if there was a symbol over here. As I don't remember. See, I, this is what I meant about having to check all the areas. Nope, there's no symbols here. Those Iskan seals. Yeah. There we go. And over here. There's a heart. Oh, there! Right there! That was easy. Hold on now. It's right here. The, the seal. Where's my bell? What are we going to find behind this thing? Now I'm excited. An entirely new area. For a second I thought it was just going to be a warp back to the village of Iska. But I'm happy to see it's not. What? So that's what he meant by a shortcut. That's wild. The Dragon Knights will never find us now. It won't be quite that easy. No one's passed through here since the Iskat sealed it up 200 years ago. There are bound to be some tough monsters in here. Probably Titano class even. Might be best to head to Shanoa first. Oh really? Well, where does this lead? I wanna just have a little peekaboo first. Oh. It leads to Giant Spider Town. With... With a cool song. Oh, 
Oh, it's just the wilderness. That's a bit ominous. Yeah, good music. I do like this music. Um, dare we fight uh, a single enemy on our travails? Oh, it just kind of seems to cut through. Where does it cut to exactly? I don't know. Let's have a quick fight against the single the spider. Ow! I see. And it's also not taking much in the way of damage. I mean, I think I could take this thing in a fight. But it's basically like a mini boss. Okay, well, we got it stunned, so that's something. Oh! Oh, goodness. Well, now I want to beat this one giant spider monster. Oi! Oh, my God. Yeah, but I can't do this area, definitely. I'm a... Or, well, okay. I mean, honestly, he's not super tough. It, it, I'm just, like... His, his charge is kind of tracking, and that's throwing me off. Die! Done. A titano bone. Cool. All right. Neat. Well, if if the if the map is to be believed, this will probably shortcut us to Segram, maybe. So maybe once we're done with Shen Noah, we'll come here. But for now, we will heed the game's advice and have a look see in uh, Shen Noah before heading this way. Uh, maybe maybe we'll. Uh, be uh, leveled up a bit more, so that'll go a bit smoother. Of course, being an action RPG, it's also about being able to time your moves. Time your moves and, um, like, watch the enemy and do all, all that jazz. That you're able to, uh, you know, basically, that enemy, you know, his moves weren't even complicated. I was just, like, mentally blocking myself, really, there. Or, actually, you could say, let's just avoid the excuses, I was just doing badly against the guy. Oh, another new enemy, this giant slime monster, who also is taking quite a few hits. So, basically, like, you could have beaten him, like, you can beat those enemies, like, those moves were pretty simple. Really simple, really. Big, big tells on this, but, like... It would take an awful lot of time to deal with him. Since you saw how, how how sturdy it was, how little damage my attacks were doing. I guess I'll beat up a couple of monsters on the way. We get we get supplies. It's, it's not a waste of time. But these side areas that I'm just checking just in case, you know, uh, there might be more uh there might be more uh More, um, those, uh, seals. I mean, I don't remember. I think there was, like, maybe one per, like, region of the game, but I might as well check. I might as well be thorough. Also, hey, we're going to Shanoa, so I'm gonna get to go to the underwater area once we get there. Oh, sweet. Finally. I don't think I've forgotten about that. Hopefully it'll be on the way to the Dragon Sanctum. Okay, well, actually, now that I realize that the Dragon Sanctum is uh, not in, um, not behind those uh, symbols, those seals, uh, I think it's a safe bet that the Dragon Sanctum is going to be somewhere in the altar. I think that's what they were alluding to, even. So, I think that's what Cyarius was kind of alluding to. So, we'll probably be going by that place. Here's these Tatsal Worms again. You know, the new God of War has tassel worms in it. That's that's kind of cool to me. Also, a little weird, because I believe tassel worms are from Swiss folklore. That has really much to do with Viking stuff. With Norse mythology, but... Hey, it's a tassel worm. That's still pretty cool. Ooh, it's S. Galleon, or one of its uh, relatives. And it's now a mini, like, regular enemy. It's been downgraded into a regular fight. Oh, I do like, like, there's some new enemies in these places. Kind of keeps things a little fresher. Well, this one. 
Kinda hard to fight. He keeps dashing away. Get back here. Aha! Uh -huh. Stopped him in his tracks. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, there probably aren't any more dragon, uh, not, uh, not dragon, Iskan seals, but... Oh, what's the harm in being thorough? Oh, another one I use. Oh, this is where, where the progress. Okay, never mind. So let's actually check this fork real quick. Nope. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Look at us rolling around. Even with our bad attack, that thing is... Completely... Oh! Okay, you do have some other moves. Ah! Why did I use Photon Blade? That was a bad move. It's because I are tech dumb. Gotcha! See, Running Slash is the thing I wanted to use, because that lets me catch up with the monster. There we go! How long did it take to beat Shenoa Forest last time? I don't remember anymore. It was a bit of a long road, wasn't it? Because Escalion was like a halfway boss here. Hey. Oh yeah, these pillbug monsters. Ah, they are crushed by my heavy blade. Oh yeah, these cute cute stone statue things. I remember these. Nothing here. What were you guys, though? Get me some saplings! Oh yeah, we didn't even... When we came here the first time, we didn't even have uh, Aisha with us, so there's no enemies here weak against her uh, damage type. So, Mishera's kind of... Not dead weight, but like... Not as much of a contribution here. Oh, I could almost switch in guys for Mishera, just so we'd have two slash guys in the party. Well, I suppose her ranged attacks on these um, neutral type enemies... There's some use for her here. Oh yeah, new move. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. I'm okay with that. Ooh, got him right out of the air. That was cool. Pillbug just exploded. Oh, sweet. We got right here. So we got ourselves healed. Hey, I want to check out. Is there... Oh, it's not an enemy. It's a... It's a... It's a guinea pig? It's a... Okay, sure. Why not? I thought there'd be like a... Maybe like a new Titano here. <laughs> to fight. Nah, it was just a cute little... Uh, chinchilla thing. Uh, I don't know what that was. But it wasn't hostile, so... No need to antagonize it. Okay. Why don't you lead the way for a bit? Okay. Why don't you lead the way, Adol? Oh yeah, we need lots of iron ore for um, that one item I want to synthesize, which gains... Uh, Dragon energy just by walking, so might as well pick up those rock piles. Ah! Oh yeah, my freaking thief move. Oh cool, he tosses his uh, thing as a range move for him. Do a little crest fall there real quick. Slow down, you big ugly boar. And he's stunned, and he's dead. That's the way you do it.
Oh yeah, I remember this this cool shot as we walk by the lakeside. That was neat. Okie dokie. I remember these statues. I think we're right near Shan. No, I'll just skip by these monsters real quick. That's right. Here we are. Can we warp between these? Now that we've reactivated them. We can. Okay, so we just need to reactivate the the uh, pillars. And then we can warp again. That's cool. Or, I don't know. Well, we'll test it if, just in case next time. Um, where was the shop here? Oh. Oh, this looks... Plot related. Let's have a quick chat with the Elder before we go shopping or anything else. Grandma, I'm back! Elk, my boy. Welcome back. Oh, wow. That's a different tone. She was a much more angry about Elk running off last time. And with so many people in tow, too. Are the elders of the other tribes with you? Elders Fatima, it has been a while. Ah, it's you. My, haven't you grown? You've come a long way. I'm Fatima, the eldest of Shanoa. As you can see, things have been rather busy around here. I apologize for the lack of hospitality. And... From the looks of it, Cyarius must have told you everything. He who hath heard the dragons. I guess it was you guys after all. Wait, you know about him? Uh, well, I guess, yeah, I guess he, she would have heard about him because freaking Geiss' fairies brought all these other people here too? I don't know. I was surprised too. Never thought old Adel here would become the dragon warrior. I'm guessing you know what's going on already? I have a general idea from what the tiny fairy told me. I would have preferred to attend in person, but I'm not young enough to travel such distances anymore. I had no choice but to send Elk in my place. And for that I offer my apologies. I see. <laughs> I'm just glad I could help you out. By the way, Grandma, do you know anything about these sanctums? Apparently there's something called a sanctum beyond the altar. So, you're going to the sanctum. Do you know how to get there? Of course, I'm the Eldress. And that's more than just a fancy title. But, let's not discuss this here. Come to my house, we'll talk more there. Oh! I thought we'd have a moment to run around, I'd go shopping, but never mind, here we are. So, where were we? Ah yes, some dragon knights came to the village looking for you. So they've been here already. Ugh, they certainly work fast. Well, it was just after the earthquake. I suggested that since they were here already, they should clear out some of the dangerous monsters in the forest. Heh, <laughs> that's some quick thinking there. There's no need to worry. As long as you're in the village, not a soul will cause you any harm. So, about that sanctum. Eldris Fatima, what kinds of places are the sanctums? Hmm... Well, they say the Sanctums are the dwelling places of the five dragons. The dragons have been there since the beginning of time, and have fallen into a deep slumber. As they slept, their powerful energy changed each den into what we call the Sanctums today. They truly are the realms of dragons, as no humans can enter them. With the notable exception of the Dragon Warrior, of course. Hmm. Go on. The elders of each of the five tribes have a unique incantation passed down through the generations. And when the destined warrior appears, they are to lead him to the dragon's sanctums with these incantations. That is the duty of the village elders. So that's why we need to seek out help from all of them. 
Grandma, please teach me the incantation. I'll lead them all to the sanctum myself. I thought you'd say that. Even after I just explained what a dangerous place it is. B but I want to help everyone. Please. Pretty please. If we don't do something, Altego's going to be in big trouble, right? It's not like this doesn't affect me too. After hearing what's going to happen, you can't just expect me to do nothing. Indeed. Well, you have displayed surprisingly good behavior lately. Your martial abilities may, be, may still be lacking, but if this many are going... Then you'll teach me the spell? Grandma, you're the best! Don't get too excited now. I am truly sorry. I should be the one leading you. But I most likely will not be much help. Please take this child instead. That's a really funny line. I can't help you. Have a child. He still has much to learn, but he is of the elder family. He is qualified to lead you. Thank you. If he gets out of line, you have my permission to scold him. Now, Elk, I will teach you the incantation. You will lead the Dragon Warrior to the Sanctum. Ah, uh, okay. I'm ready. Elk learned the spell. Well, that was easy. It is said that the altar deep within the ancient tree is the entrance to the Earth Sanctum. No one has entered it for at least several centuries. There is no telling what awaits you there. Be careful. Wow, it really sounds like there's going to be uh, five more dungeons in this game, which really means that we're really only at the halfway point. I'm pretty fine with that at this point, really. <laughs> this is such a fun time in this game I'm having. Um... Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if it's too long. Like, even a good game can outstay its welcome. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how big these sanctums are. Because right now I'm super happy to hear that we still have a couple more... A couple more uh, adventures to have. Ooh! A killer bee! It's a new, even more powerful... Uh... Uh, Pierce weapon, so okay. There's even new equipment, damn! I shouldn't have bought that one thing for Dogi. There's an iron gauntlet here which would do the job just fine. Oh, there's stuff for everybody here. Whoa, look at how cool that uh, dual blade for him looks like. The Ran Raninia Makia. Ah, well. Um, well, I can buy Adol a Lamellar armor. Or a Potukali shell. Uh... Or Reno cloaks for these guys. Okay, yeah, okay, you get the point. I can buy armor. I guess I'll get an armor. For, uh... For Adol. Might as well. Unfortunately, that means the money I spent on that one armor was wasted. You know what? I'll just sell that one off. To make up a little bit of the... The, uh... The, uh... Difference to Moonplate Mail. I just bought that recently, so... There we go. Got a little bit of cash to scratch. I could afford another piece of armor. A Reno cloak for one of these guys. Oh, I will do it. Enjoy it, Elk. Thanks so much. A bit, I think a bit too soon for new equipment after we just had all that stuff to buy in this cup. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I came here like unexpectedly fast. Oh, I should save the game for a while, by the way, while I'm here. Oh, boy. I guess we can now save back here on the reg this, like, regular save now that we're back from the uh, island of no return. Uh-oh. Who could this be? It's probably going to be one of the Dragon Knights, judging from so. Hold, fugitive! Oh, it's... Oh, it's Sigrun. Sorry. Halt, fugitive. I finally found you, Adel Kristen. Crap. Dragon Knight. Okay, so I was kind of right when I said, like, it was Dragon Knight, but I expected it to be a generic one. 
Oh man, she she looks badass with that bow, by the way. Oh boy, is this a boss fight? Right, I we're almost done with the episode. Well, I don't know. It'll probably be a boss fight where I die super fast. She's probably gonna be super tough. Aren't you Aisha's guardian? Look, that was all a misunderstanding. Adel didn't do anything. Don't move! I've already knocked an arrow. Try to escape, and I'll lose it with no regrets. Damn it. Oh god, what are we gonna do about this single arrow? Adel Kristen, I thought you'd managed to escape the kingdom entirely. What is a wanted felon doing here? What are you really after? I wonder if you go to Segram or uh, Kylos if she shows up anyway. That'd be kind of cool, like, no matter where you go, she'll show up to challenge you. Adel explained the imminent destruction Altego was facing. And that he was on his way to speak with the five dragons to ask how to stop it. What? Destruction? Dragons? You must be out of your mind! I don't care if you are, though. Just answer me this. You really did not assassinate his majesty, correct? Adel nodded without hesitation. Hmm. Your eyes. They seem honest. Oh, cool! Guess there's nothing more to say, then. I made a promise. She's not gonna fight us. I mean, okay, on one hand, I was that would have been interesting fighting a, an archer, but on the other hand, I'm glad I don't have to get my ass kicked by her. I'll be joining you now. What? 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 Why? What do you want? It was the princess's request. They're doing all they can to help Altego. I can't help them, so I want you to go on my behalf. That's what she told me. Is she going to be a party member? Oh. Then what was all with the bow and arrow? For a moment there I thought you were actually going to kill us. Yes, that was my intention. Or at least I considered it. Make no mistake. I do not trust you. Not entirely. Even if aiding you was a request from the princess, the lot of you sound like raving lunatics to me. If you do anything suspicious, I won't hesitate to arrest every one of you. No questions asked. Do not forget that. Yowza! What a scary woman. Don't worry. We can all vouch for Adel and Dogi. I believe that if you travel alongside us, everything will become clear. There's no such thing as too much help when you have a mission like ours. We welcome you, Dragon Knight. I am Sigrun, pleased to make your acquaintance. I never thought I'd be cooperating with a fugitive. Oh man, she's like Steiner from Final Fantasy IX! That's so cool! She's like Steiner and Beatrice, like combined into a single character. And with a bow and arrow, but like, you know, like, like character-wise. So cool! Wait, no, this isn't cooperation. If anything, it's more like surveillance. That's right. I am doing nothing wrong. Simply carrying out my duties. Uh, yeah. You're definitely something else, that's for sure. Well, uh... Welcome aboard, I guess. Oh my god, she's in the party! And she uses bows? So... If I swap her in with, like... Mishera, she has an ocean squall as her? What is she? She uses a half moon bow? That was the item that uh, you could have gotten from um, Iska, I think. She's got, she's got like the highest level tier stuff again. Oh my god! What should I give? Let's give her the Knight's Crest. <laughs> Increase her XP. Oh my god! And she seems to have... Oh yeah, because she's a bow user. She has the same stuff that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, Aisha uses. She's like a, she's like a tag-in for Aisha. In, like, in story and gameplay terms. Right, I am ready. Oh my god, this is so cool! This, this game is so good!